Welcome to Exercise Central. <laughs> Yesterday was psychologically the hardest day. Um, I was quite overfaced by the 78 miles. And the thing is, I just didn't predict the fact that um, the flat was going to be really hard. I thought it would be easy. Everyone was saying, oh, you know, welcome to Lincolnshire, it's great, you know, there's no hills. But the thing is, because you don't get any respite, there's no freewheeling at all. Be in Peterborough uh, for the time of the one show, but I will get there tonight, just as I did get to Lincoln last night, a bit later than expected. It's been a very eventful day. After a good night's sleep, a small crowd gathered to wave Matt off just after 10 o'clock this morning. We're leaving a slightly misty Lincoln, heading for Peterborough. Get the aerodynamic fin. In uh, a much better place today than I did yesterday. 78 miles was, was quite a big ask. I managed the pain yesterday. I know I can do the same today. Morning. Let me do. Bye. Thanks so much. Matt's knees are still causing him considerable pain. But the support he's getting from the crowds lining the streets is spurring him on and spirits are high. Oh, we're pumping now. We're moving along. Well, we've now left Lincoln behind us. Got an incredible reception there. Thanks. It's just been unbelievable. It's really, you know, given me that lift that I needed to push on. I'm trying to chase, desperate to get to Peterborough before midnight. Special passenger. Star Wars and Harry Potter actor Warwick Davis. Hey, come for, I presume you are coming for I right. indeed, so yeah, yeah, I just wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> What a shame, it's so short. That was. What well, oh. the, the trip. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no time for chat. There's still another 61 miles into Peterborough. Get there. Hello, Peterborough. Oh, bless them all for coming out. Uh, now, Steve, we saw the, um, your co-star from Life's Too Short, uh, Warwick, in yes. the back. There's some lights to turn on around here, isn't there? Again, a very big thank you to a bright and sparkling Peter Brown. Oh, it's just gone 6.30 on day six and psychologically it's quite a stodgy day this because fatigue is really setting in, legs are tired. So we put James in the saddle and um, we're looking at doing a good 10 to 15 miles. The hour support for Team Rickshaw was in abundance. Morning! The first dressing gown of the day. I bet that people stand in their pyjamas and dressing gowns. Yeah. But as we approached one of the toughest hills of our journey, ah! I just had to get off. Right, that's yeah. it. James, however, endured a painful ride to the top. Here in Salisbury, um, I hope you did say hello to me, I'm saying hello back. Anyway, yeah, there's loads of people here that have done incredible things for children in need. Um, and one group led by uh, Steve Cleggy. Just give us an idea of what you've been up to. Uh, I taught 100 people to do the Thriller dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller video. As you do. We all dressed up, came out here in the freezing cold a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And did it uh, as part of a world record. Everybody went home with sponsorship forms and we've raised... A lot of money. You have well over £1,300. Thank you very much. I delivered this cheque to it. But see, how was it anyway, team? Brilliant! Yeah, that was bad. Happy birthday. And there we are indeed, Putty. OK, so now it's all about the total. Uh, I've got some money here that I collected just on the way in. So Sam, hold your hands out, yes. Look, oh at, this. Look at all this cash. <laughs> You've got a lot of counting to do. Oh but here we go. Here we go. There's more in it. Anyway, I'll sort you out later on. Okay. So, uh, wait, Callum, have you got the form with the total? This is the current total for Team Rickshaw. Uh, Trevor, can I have a drum roll? Thank you. It is. Seven hundred and eight thousand seven hundred and eighty four pounds <laughs> down to Reading and it's lumpy, it's bumpy and Jamila I am glad to see that you have got your helmet on because you know what? I'm gonna start it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 
got Kieran here as well. You're going to be up there tomorrow as well, as are you, Lauren. Okay. It's less than 100 miles from here to London. That's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow. It does make you wonder how on earth they got here. It's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to something. testing you oh. uh, but in the meantime this is what's happened since you saw us last the sun's just about to come up but last night was quite eventful the rickshaw covered 40 miles all the way from Birmingham but there was unfortunately an accident Bethany who suffers from Down syndrome was given the job to ride the rickshaw out of Birmingham hi guys and she was making good headway until disaster <laughs> just relax Come and sit in the car with me. We either hit a pothole or Bethany made a manoeuvre which took the rickshaw into myself and we all came a proper. Oh, you can do it. Oh, Bethany, I'm so <laughs> proud yeah. of you. We're over halfway into the rickshaw challenge and the support on the streets has been phenomenal. We've even had an escort of runners alongside. And it's Alex who's coming to the end of a seven hour shift on the road. Yeah, tired now. Go on, Al, go on, keep going, keep pushing. I was trying to keep talking there so he wouldn't notice his incline. I have so noticed the incline. <laughs> I saw the incline before the incline saw me. Don't drop back. Don't drop back. Uh, Good laugh. Go on. Uh, don't slow, don't slow, don't slow. Just keep going. Uh, uh, yes. You're there, we kid. We made it. I am shattered now. It was positively hell by the end. I'm done now for a little while. It's over to Eleanor and Keith. Eleanor making good headway into Wales, but not for the first time, his specially adapted handlebars let him down. Well, what's happened is um, we've sheared one of the bolts that holds the handlebar adaptions that have been made for myself. So what the guys are doing just now is they're just trying to fix it, otherwise I might not get to Wales yeah. or London. Some of the family members, including Nana Angie. Nana Angie is here, and Auntie Theresa and the rest of the family. Now it's a very special day for Jeff as well because, ladies and gentlemen, it's yeah. Jeff's birthday today. Yeah. And Jeff, to make you feel special, we've got you a little cake here. Look, it's a special rickshaw <laughs> cake, and there's no doubt that you could do with the calories, eh? <laughs> so you know what? I let you and the family tuck in. Go on. James has kindly signed a CD to you. But you know what? Pudsy sat on it in the rickshaw, so it's a bit cracked. Sorry about that. <laughs> there you are. Have That's that. Fine. Fully, they'll fix it. Martin, come and join me here a second. Just tell us all what happened early. We saw it quickly in the film. Well, we were cycling along, everything was going well, and then we had a bump and the handlebar spun all the way around and it was broke. You broke the rickshaw night ahead of us so the guys hopefully will fix the rickshaw martin will get back on it and we'll make our way to oxford so matt we'll see you tomorrow tess oprah and daniel it's a goodbye from abigail did you get the cupcakes love my face on them i have the arrived <laughs> safely mel to be honest with you i actually don't want to uh, bite into this at all because it is so beautiful honestly I have the most beautiful welcome here just the three of us here um, look where we are Look at the backdrop. Coventry Cathedral's old and new. The bells are already ringing out around us. He's looking pretty thin. We've got Carolina, who will be very shortly bringing the rickshaw into University Square. But, well, the other two members, they can't be with us tonight. And I'll explain why a little bit later on. It's day six. And just like every morning, it's important to have a good breakfast. John, how are you? All right, yeah, still half asleep. Matthew, you look fresh this morning. I bet as soon as your head touched the pillow last night, you were out like a light. No. <laughs> Need to give you some more ills. <laughs> Wave goodbye to Alton Towers. We're off to Coventry. Well, I think your speech has come on incredibly well, you know. Yeah. Right, well, talking of teamwork, Matthew, let's take this. This challenge has really helped me with my speech and confidence. I have a laugh with the team, especially John. They all help me a lot. It is great to have made friends on the challenge. Bye. <laughs> Carolina, 
Look who's here. Now, oh, believe it or not, I can't believe this. He's at the top of Coventry Cathedral and he's abseiling down to reveal the total, okay? So, I mean, this is getting very adventurous. I, have, I just can't wait to see what he does tomorrow. Let's give him a wave. Give him a wave. There we are. So here we are. Let's reveal it, Pudsey. Stop. This is live TV, this, so here we go. Stand by. Hurry up. For goodness sake, drop it. There it is. It's a staggering 600,310. Goodness me. Now, look. Tomorrow, we have 80 miles to do. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this, but my alarm is set for 1.30 in the morning. And this is the route that we are going to be taking. Just have a quick look. So we're going uh, south via Silverston, uh, Buckinghamshire and Aylesbury, and we're going to be ending up at somebody's house. That's one member of Team Rickshaw. All is a bit of a secret. Hope you can join us then. Get out on the route. Track us when you can. And just very quickly, Matthew, for all those people that have donated, what would you like to say? Thank you. That's all from Coventry. Lovely welcome from Brighton Pier, and I'm going to... Well, there you are, look. I was sure that they were going to do the same for you. So, yeah... It... Day six of the challenge, and the rickshaw convoy is behind schedule as we leave Winchester. i right, leaving just after five, and we've got 63 miles to go. With some of his favourites. Oh, I could you to the Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pay our respects on Armistice Day. And our reflective moment was made even more poignant with an uplifting surprise. Out of the blue, a spitfire. Well, that was just the most poignant surprise. None of us expected that at all. Uh, we didn't know it was going to happen. We had no idea who was flying it. So we made a few phone calls and we did a little bit of searching. And we have found the pilot. And I'd like to... Matt Jones. Hello. Now, it was just remarkable. Now, obviously, it was a very special time for you to be up in the air with the Spitfire. Why did you decide to spend that moment with Team Rickshaw? Well, I was planned to display at 5 past 11 for Goodwood for Remembrance Day for them. Yeah. And I was watching your progress over the last couple of days, and I saw that you were going to be somewhere between uh, Midhurst and Pepwood today. So I thought there was an opportunity, and, uh, and so I took off at 5 to 11 and came and found you, and uh, slightly by chance, bang on 11 o'clock, there you were, a group of yellow-clad yellow people in the room. It was the jackets that did it, It was, was it? the, it was the jackets. jackets, yeah, yeah absolutely right. Second, and Al, it's Matt here, and I just want to say that it's been an honour to ride beside your sister and to sense all of her... Uh, caring, she's just such a wonder. Uh, Brighton, we're bringing her in, in 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 a fitting fashion, Dad. I mean, I don't know what you do, whatever you want to do. There we are. God, Mum's here as well to look after Al. And listen, listen, this is all about raising money. They're doing all of this, going to all these incredible lengths. A very big thank you to all of you people who have been uh, joining us out along the route and taking all the photos. I know you've been posting them up. Uh, we've been putting them on our Facebook page as well, up on the website. So do, uh, do please keep them coming. And if you would like this map, it'll give you an indication uh, of our journey through to Chatham Docks. There it is. Look, it's quite a way. So we're going to be leaving Brighton uh, early doors, half six, heading north and then up through to Maidstone, uh, Hempstead, and then up to the dockyard at Chatham. Do what you can. That's it for now from Brighton. We'll see you in Chatham tomorrow. Good night.